The weekend was filled with fun and festivities. So Saturday, my wife and I went to the University of Texas Kansas State football game. And my aunt and uncle and my cousin and his wife have got season tickets and they gave us tickets to go to the game and so they're, they're awesome seats. <laughs> So thank you very much for that. My cousin's wife, would she be my cousin-in-law? Told me that she watches all my videos. Now my mother-in-law has also told me this, and I know there's a couple of other people that just watch these videos just because I'm on it, and I really do, God bless you, I appreciate that. Most of the people, you know, this stuff is pretty boring, so if you're watching it and you don't care, <laughs> Love you. That's some love there. Really is. So uh, Sunday, my wife and I drove down to Houston for my niece's baby shower. Now, the men did go out and do manly things during the shower part, uh, and then we came back. But we had a lot of fun. So there were no pixel projects going on. However, I took off Friday. So here's what happened Friday. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Canis Spader Christmas. In this episode, I'm gonna fill these Biscoyo strips with pixels. Now, these, these strips are gonna go around, outline my garage. Um, the thing about pixels is they look best when they're in a straight line. There's usually fewer of them than there would be normal Christmas lights. So they look really good when they're in a straight line. These strips allow us to put them in a straight line. And I've talked about these before. Um, it's basically just a thin piece of plastic um, they, the, these are three inch centers and, uh, there's a textured side and a smooth side. Now I normally use the smooth side out. Don't know why. It's just what I've done. Tonight we're going textured. So the pixels that we get are, the shaft of it is about 12 millimeters. This hole's about 12 millimeters. So you just push these down on there and it holds them really well. Um, there is, it does require enough force to where after about four or five of them, your hands start getting tired. And so I'm going to use a drill press to actually push these into the strips. And the other part of this, I have one on here. So the end of it, it has this little piece of metal. It's just a little piece of aluminum. You can tie wrap it to the end like that. And what that does is it just gives a little more uh, stability to this hole. This last one won't have a pixel in it. Um, I'll, I'll use it to tie it to the bottom. So this will be the bottom of the strip. It'll look like this. So we'll stick the pixels through here and I don't even really know how many it's going to take yet. I didn't count the holes, but anyway, I'll show you the setup and we'll run through this real quick.
have all the pixels pressed into the strips. I don't know exactly how many pixels I have, and I don't know what the layout is, so I need to get determine that. Now I could just count them, but what's the fun in that? So let's start feeding this with a signal and start counting with our hardware. 25 should light up that first leg. And it does. Okay, so this first leg is 25 pixels. So the second segment ends there. And let's say it's probably about 70, so let's go 95. Mm, pretty close. So two more. Go back here. There we go. Okay, so this is the end of the second segment. That one's flashing, or that one's changing, this one is not. So this is number 90. And then we should have 25 to take us to the end of here. Yeah, so that one doesn't work. So that's 115. Excellent. Save the controller, turn the lights on, beautiful. Okay, so that's the effect that we're going for on the garage. Now, I did do something similar. I outlined my front door and there's a window up top, so it's two stories. And I did pixels around that. I'm not gonna show you that because it really doesn't matter. But one thing, if you don't have a drill press, um, just get a socket and put one of these strips on top of it and then you can jam the pixels down that way. Now, if they are flat pixels, um, it's a lot easier to do that with if they are the bullets. Do I have that here? If they are the, the bullet type, then it's going to be a little harder to do it, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe you can get a glove or something. Bullets are a little easier to jiggle into here. Um, you got more to hang on to. Your hands are still going to get tired either way. Anyway, rambling on a little bit, so I'm going to cut it short. I will probably start getting into sequencing pretty soon and that's going to be me sitting in front of the computer doing this. So I probably will not film a lot of that and I do have a few more projects to do so I will show you those. But uh, if you have any questions leave them below and I'll get to them. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. And all the dogs run. So many cars going back.